What's going on, beautiful people? It's your boy here, Wesley, from West the Credit here on YouTube, the one channel on the World Wide Web where we actually adopt some of connections despite our differences. And I'm here to review Season 5, Episode 10, Everything Gonna Be Okay, Insecure's series finale. And I'm just like, ah, Issa Rae did the whole cop out thing. Issa D, aka Issa Rae, did the cop out thing. And what I mean by that is she did time jumps. She did time jumps so she wouldn't have to explain everything. And so that the final episode wouldn't be as dramatic as it normally is because there's no more to the story. There's no continuation. So she has to finalize it. It has to be finalized. And in our minds, we could continue on, you know, with the story. But as far as HBO is concerned, as far as the show is concerned, there, it needs to be finalized. And the easiest way to do that is to time jump so we can get past it. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I told y'all in my last review, like, I was annoyed with the fact because I knew what she was heading with it. I knew what she was heading with it. But you know what? She actually didn't go completely that route. Which was interesting because I didn't think that, I didn't think what ended up happening would actually happen from Nathan's perspective, you know? But anyways, if this is your first time seeing me, uh, follow me on all my social medias, uh, West the Critic on Instagram and Twitter, and get into my channel here on YouTube where I review uh, scripted shows, films, anime, and things of the sort. I'm trying to get better with this channel, but hey, the more engagement I have with you guys, the more it will allow me to know that you guys want me to do more. So anyways, I really thought that Issa was going to break it up, break it off with Nathan, and I thought that her excuse was going to be because of the fight and all of that, that she wouldn't want to be around that and she kind of would feel some sort of way about it. But on contraire, uh, Nathan is the one that's like, yeah, I can't do this. This is messy and I don't like the messiness and I'm going to have to just part ways. And so I was like, okay, interesting. Um, you know, homeboy's face was like, I was feeling the scene because his face was like, am I making the right decision? Am I, am, I, am I not making the right decision? Like, what's going on? But he sold it. He completely sold it. And Issa was more or less on like, the, I would like to try to work it out, but come inside. And he's like, nah, I don't want to deal with it. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> and I'm like, where's this going? And so, I don't know where we celebrate everybody's birthdays and we get to see how they progress through and how, you know, everyone's getting through their day-to-day. -day. You know, as their birthdays come, as the months progress forward or whatever the case may be. And I'm like, okay, I see what she doing. <laughs> right away, I'm like, okay, so we just gonna forget about this dude and not care about him anymore. We get to Issa's birthday and Nathan comes to visit. And I'm like, awkward. Okay, Issa has been calling him, texting. He hasn't been responding. Why is he showing up now? Is he showing up now just to, just to say, you know, you're still dope and, you know, you're cool and we're cool. I don't regret the decision that I made, but, you know, I, I would feel weird not coming to say happy birthday because you are a good person and... You know, no matter what, you're dope in my book. And I don't regret what happened. I don't think we should still, I still don't think we should be together, but I just would feel weird not coming by to say, you know, happy birthday after all that the block has done for us. And I'm like, oh wow, he really has moved on. Okay. But at this time, I still don't want Issa and Lawrence together. I think. It's, a, it's like, why? I think it's like, why? Right? At this point, it's still like, why? So we get through everybody's birthdays. I was waiting for Kelly's birthday, but we find out that, uh, you know, Tiffany is not enjoying Denver. I already, we, I mean, we called it from the beginning. We, we, from the beginning, when we knew that she was moving, we called that she would not 
like it, especially in last episode, she does not like Denver. She is miserable in Denver. I just feel like that sucks because, I mean, the show's over, so she's just going to be miserable in Denver, like, you know? But such is life. Like, that happens. We make decisions for our relationships, and they're not the betterment of us, but it's the betterment of the relationship. And is that the right thing to do? I don't think so, but whatever. That's the decision that Tiffany makes. I'm looking forward to Kelly's birthday just to see what's going to happen because I feel like throughout this entire show, we never really got to get to know Kelly that well. For me, that all the stuff that I can remember, all the storylines that I can remember, it was mainly Issa, obviously. Second was Molly. Third was Tiff. And then was Kelly. And yeah. But either way, we get to see her. And shout out to J.R. Blair. I, I know I'm saying his, I hope I'm saying his name right. Um, another content creator that started out on YouTube, doing big things, bigger and better things now. Obviously, he's uh, uh, gracing the stage of Insecure, but he has a phenomenal show out. And I'm not even going to try to remember the name of it, but it gave me Insecure. And he had it on YouTube. Phenomenal brother, talented brother. Him and his cast, very, very talented. So it was great to see him as Kelly's boyfriend. Uh, on the show. Didn't really have much to say, uh, but nonetheless, it's he made it, right? Like, like, that's you making it, and that's amazing, right? Completely, completely amazing. Shout out to you. Uh, congrats. Uh, you know, Kelly meets him. They do their thing. Now Kelly's pregnant. Okay. Okay. Molly loses her mom. Okay. You know, a little bit of tragedy in this. It was an hour long, a little bit of tragedy. Okay, cool. Where are we going with this? Because this whole episode took us through two years of time jumps. And because we had, you know, uh, Molly's birthday. Then we fast forwarded to Molly's birthday again. Then we fast forwarded to a wedding. So, two years. We just jumping all over the place. And I feel like the only person that had a resolution at the end of this series is Molly. Molly, Molly had a clear, positive resolution. Second to that would be uh, Kelly. You know, having a child and a boyfriend and all of that. Third would be Issa because she ends up with Lawrence and even in the mirror at the end when she's talking to Molly and you know Molly's in Greece or whatever she still seems unhappy and I don't know if that was done on purpose or what but for me she still seems unhappy, unhappy. if she's looking in the mirror even when she's looking at Molly get married like, and they have their little emotional moment as friends. It's just like, I don't know, Issa, to me, Issa is not happy. She's not. She's happy at work. She's been successful at work, but she's not happy with, I don't think she's happy with Lawrence. I just don't see it. She didn't sell that, that she was happy to me. I don't know, am I the only one? Do y'all feel like Issa is happy in the end? When she's standing in the mirror talking to Molly, even when she's at the wedding, she just does not seem happy. Everyone else, see, even Tiffany seems happier than Issa. But whatever. I have watched every single episode, every single season of Insecure. I'm completely invested, have been invested, therefore I can give my opinion. To me, I feel like this finale is not worth it. I feel like it doesn't resolve enough for me as a viewer. And honestly, it's not even a matter of Issa ended up with Lawrence. I didn't want that to happen. I felt like they've been through so much. What is the point? Even, even her closing uh, monologue, her statement where she, I felt like she was talking about the block, but she was at the same time, metaphorically speaking about the relationship. I, I just felt like that was great. Those are great words, but I just felt like not for Lawrence. Not for Lawrence. I just, why? Like, why? And then, and then, to have her walking in to Lawrence and his son 
And then, you know, it's her birthday again. And she's in the mirror. She does not look happy. So in my mind, I'm like, I would have rather this season ended off with her completely smiling, completely ecstatic and excited to be where she is, how she is, which, you know, which she is. But I don't get that. And maybe, maybe again, I'm the only one. Um, I don't know. I'm happy for Molly. I'm happy for Molly. I'm happy for Kelly. I'm happy for Molly and I'm happy for Kelly. That's it. I, I, don't, I, I don't know. I just wish... I wish there could have been a little bit more. I wish we didn't do the time jumps. It's damn for sure not two years. I, I just, I wish we didn't do all of that. And I just wish we stuck where we were, how we were, and resolved everything that was happening then and there. Like, I, I don't know. Issa Rae can do no wrong. Congratulations to her. We, we go from awkward black girl to you know, five seasons later on HBO, her not uh, selling her show short and going for what she wanted to go for as the creative on her show and, and, and making it happen for herself on HBO. Congratulations. Hey, you did it. I can't wait to see what else you come up with. I can't wait to see what else you do. Um, as far as this particular season of season five, it was a solid show. It is a solid show. Solid body of work. Am I ecstatic with the character choices, the creative choices you made for the characters? I'm not. But hey, I watched it. I supported every episode. And it just it is what it is. It is what it is. I didn't hate the episode. I just didn't care for it. And it didn't resolve anything for me. I felt like Issa, if she was going to end up with Lawrence, she should have been smiling at the end. Happy at the fact that she's successful with the block and she got her man if she really wanted him that bad But I just don't believe she really wanted him that bad because she wasn't smiling at the end and even throughout the entire episode She still had reservations. So for me, there's no there's no clothes off It is what it is y'all leave your comments. Let me know what y'all thought about the finale of Insecure the series finale of Insecure was it worth it or not? Ones below this video if you feel that it was a great resolution. Two below this video if you feel that you wanted more and you didn't get it. Love y'all. Thank y'all for watching. Deuces.